blessed day guys and peace be upon you today so in this video we're going to learn how to configure remote access using tenant so in uh, in this topology here there's a demo topology here that i've just uh, designed we are going to remotely control this switch from admin pc so it's remote access there are two ways to um, manage the devices one is using console cable this is the console cable sorry so this is the console cable this one okay you can console to this uh, switch directly then you plug into rs232 you come to switch and you plug into console okay and you come to your pc uh, you come to desktop you come to terminal and finally you just click ok without uh, any uh, modification here and you will obtain the switch interface from your pc user one okay so today we are going to do remote access using tenet okay there are two ways to uh to uh, remotely manage the devices we can use uh, ssh or tenet so ssh is a secure version of uh, tenet okay but in this case we're going to use tenet then in the next video we're going to learn how to configure ssh so without uh, any further ado let me open the google sp spreadsheet and uh, inform you that today we are going to handle remote access using tenet all right so basically as i have explained that tenet is used to remotely manage the device so from this pc we are going to manage this device okay let's assume this is our desk and this device is located maybe a in a block f and this is block a so we can remotely manage this, this device without physically going here okay all right so i have highlighted steps that you're going to follow to achieve uh our objective today so remote access using tenant config guides all right we draw the next topology decorate and comment so as you can see no configuration yet i've just drawn the diagram you can see uh this is the router this admin pc this is a remotely controlled switch i use one and user two okay so this is the network on this side the network on this side and you can see uh, the first pc is connecting to the router gig 00 and the switch is connecting to the router gig 01 okay gig 01 okay all right so the next step tells us that we should assign ip addresses uh, to the router and host devices so we are going to use this network to assign this interface and the pc this inter this network to find to send this interface and the computers so uh, without wasting much time i'll just click on the pc come to desktop uh, ip configuration and it's 192.168.1. let's let's give this one 1.10 okay and uh, i come here and paste then the default gateway will be 1.1 okay the default gateway of this pc should be ip address of this interface gig 00 okay so uh let's go to uh the other pc before we can configure default gateway okay so this one should be two two dot something two dot ten two dot twenty okay then i will come later and configure default gateways two dot one two dot one default gateway of these computers should be the ip address of this interface gig zero one okay and i will make gig zero one to have two dot one that's why you can see uh, the default gateway is 2.1, right? All right, so let's go here and make this one 1.1, this here 2.1, okay? So you come to CLI and exit. So you just say interface gig 0 slash 0, and you assign the IP address, IP address to be 192.168.1.1 with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, and you hit enter. And you can see, guys, uh, it's uh, it's red, meaning it's in shutdown state. It's down. So we need to turn it up. We just say no shutdown. Okay, no shut. That's all. all right. Then we exit and we go to gig01. This one, gig01. So interface, interface, gig0 slash 1. We assign it a peer address of 2.1. Okay, a peer address of 2.1. 2.1. Then it's red let's turn it up no shut that's all exit 
all right so we are done uh configuring this device here we were only uh, we involved the router so that we can find the default gateway we cannot remotely manage a device without a default gateway so that's why we have the router here okay all right so um the next step here the next step tells us that we man we should configure management ip address and default gateway on the switch right so uh, i can remember uh, we did that earlier here uh set management ip address on the switch okay so we're going to do it again how to set management ip address to the switch so we just click on the switch we come to cli and uh enable conflicting okay then how do we set management ip address we said that there's uh all ports in a, in the switch belongs to vlan one okay so we set the management ip address to interface vlan one so we just say interface vlan one vlan one is the default vlan in a switch and all ports in the switch belong to vlan one so we just hit enter okay the first thing we the second thing we do as prior entering the interface vlan one is always in shutdown state so we need to turn it up just say no shut okay so it's up we are still under interface vlan one so let's assign management ip address we assign management ip address according to this network this network tells us that it's one and two one sixty eight two or something so i just want to set ip uh just say ip address to be one and two dot one sixty eight dot two dot uh let me assign the last ip address two five four okay and the subject mask of two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero okay okay exit then we were told to set a management ip address and default gateway on the switch so if you want to set the ip uh, default gateway on the switch uh you just do it under uh global configuration mode you just say ip default default gateway ip default gateway and your send the default gateway of this switch should be the ip address of this interface x01 okay all right so the ip address there was 192.168.2.1 and you hit enter okay that's all then you go to this fourth step configure hostname domain name and uh, username and password so we need to configure before we can configure a uh, telnet we need to do hostname domain name username and password so let's start with the uh, let's start with the um, let's start with the hostname so we just say hostname hostname to be s1 i just want it to be s1 okay all right then domain name how do we uh, how do we configure domain name on, uh, on a device you just say ip domain name to be domain name google.com cisco.com yahoo.com something like that yeah cisco.com okay anything you like right then how do you say how do you configure a username and password we just say username as a command uh let's say admin and the password to be i always like cisco but you can write your own password okay okay so we're done with step four step five is to configure a uh, local login and transport input tel telnet um, input telnet on virtual interfaces so we need to I'll tell a uh, virtual interface to use local database to log in. Okay, local database meaning username and password. Okay, all right. And to transport input access basically means that the switch will only be used for telnet as a method of remote access. Okay, so we have to enter the line virtual first. So just say line virtual zero to fifteen. There are always sixteen users virtual users at a time. Okay. 0 to 15 is 16 okay all right so after entering the line v2y 0 to 15 you just say local uh, login local okay login using the local database login local okay and you hit enter it will use the local database username and, and password okay all right so the next thing to make at the telnet to be used as a method of remote access you just say uh transport input telnet before that let me just query you see 
available options you can uh, we can allow all we can uh, deny all you can use only ssh or telnet okay so in this case i'm going to choose telnet okay in the other case i'll go i will choose ssh so just say ssh oh sorry we just say telnet this is a telnet configuration all right and you exit and you do right so we are done configuring telnet on this switch so uh step six tells us that on the admin pc ping the management ip address of the switch it should be successful so the management ip address of the switch was uh you can see it was uh 2.254 the last ip addresses the last ip address that we set you can see it was here the management ip address of interface villain one it was 2.254 so i'm going to go to this pc i'm going to the to this pc and try to ping uh 192.168.2.254 it should ping because if it doesn't ping we are not able to turn light to that switch so let's give it some time to see if it will ping yeah so you see it's ping the packet the, the two packets are lost but the others are successful so i'll ping again so that it can go through all of, all of them all right so um it's successful as indicated here then on admin pc telnet to the switch using command telnet and um, one and two that one that one and this one should be the p address of the management switch okay all right so just use a command very simple command how do we turn it to any device we just use a very simple command like uh tell it tell it then ip address of the device that you want to turn it we want to turn it to this switch remember we've set a uh, management ip address to this switch so we just say tell it um sorry okay tell it to tell it to 192.168.2.254 the management ip address of the switch then you hit enter then you see we are being asked username the username that we said it was admin you can remember the local database okay then the password that we use for cisco small letter uh, lowercase all of them then you hit enter you can see we are in switch one from our admin pc remotely access the switch one so we can just say enable uh oh no password set so we need to go to this switch and set enable password i forgot to write that we should always set enable password here uh enable password sorry enable password so i just go to this switch and say enable enable password to be cisco also good so do right i'll come back to the pc and exit so we are back to uh, the c directory so let's turn it again this is the uh, command to turn it uh username was admin password is cisco lowercase then when you say now enable you can see the first time we did it no password set for enable enable i mean uh, privilege exec mode now we find the password here as cisco okay now show uh start you see all of what all of what we could con conf configure on the switch i here so guys this is a very very simple way to configure tenlet on the switch and i have i have i alighted all the steps that we need to follow to configure turn it on a switch so uh, that marks the end of this video and i'll come to the google spreadsheet and mark this as done remote access using turn as done okay so i believe this video has really helped you know how to configure turn it on a switch and let's meet again to configure ssh on a switch so thank you so much please subscribe to my channel like this video, share with friends, and drop a comment of congratulation below. So thank you so much and bye.